Howdy everybody, it's Amy from Amy Sparkly Diamond Painting. Welcome into my channel. How are you doing today? If you like this content, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, leave comments at the end of this video. Uh, let me know what you think. And just to let you know if you're new here, mostly what I do is diamond painting content, but I also do some stamped cross stitch content. Sometimes count a cross stitch, but my eyes are not what they used to be, so I do mostly stamp cross stitch these days. But I have a product review package for you today. I do have some companies that send me product review packages from time to time to show you, and these come to me free of charge. I do not uh, have any other affiliation with the company. I don't work for them. I don't get money, nothing like that. But I do get free products from time to time to show you all. So this is one from a company that I've been doing for quite a while called Outdoor Tide and they are um, a diamond painting plus cross stitch company so they do offer uh, several different crafts and a uh, very budget friendly company so check them out. So what do we have here? Well I have a package of three items I believe here. Yes and I picked a theme for these, so typically what this company does, because they're all different, is they give me a budget amount and let me pick whatever I want. So I picked uh, a theme for this particular package for this month. The theme here is foxes, because I've seen a lot of people post fox diamond paintings and they're very popular. So I thought fox would be a good theme because I just happened to look around and that's what I saw and started picking a couple other things. So my, I think it's about $20, got me three different things here, which I will show you. So I'll start with the smaller one here. And I thought this was pretty cute, but also pretty simple diamond painting here. And so if you're looking for an easy, relaxing one, this is probably for you. I think this one was $7 and something cents for regular price, but of course they have all the discounts and codes. I do have a discount code I will be putting in the comments here. But this is a really cute image of a little girl riding a fox on a rainbow. Now, I don't know if this is a particular story or a particular little girl. You can let me know in the comments if you recognize this. I do not, but I also don't keep up with modern anime. My kiddos do, but they're into a certain type of anime. They're a little more grown up. They're in their mid-20s. So this is a 40 by 40 and it has 22 colors. So not a whole lot of colors, but because this is a pretty simplified image, it doesn't need a whole lot of colors. And that's why I picked this one as a smaller image because I thought it would come out okay because the little girl there is quite large in the frame and the fox is definitely and just a really simple rainbow and sky there. Some of the stars could be uh, glittered up with some rhinestones there maybe. You can take a look at the drill field here and see it looks very clear. Very easy to tell the colors apart. Here's the face here of our little girl. So not uh, a whole lot of detail, but you can make out different colors. There are different colored drills for the nose and the mouth and the eyes. So the face should come out okay. And got little hearts. Of course, the rainbow against that dark background. So since I have the tape measure close by, this says 40 by 40. Uh, let's see what we have here. It is 35. So it's actually for the diamond painting area is a 35 by 35. So let's see, did I set the toolkit aside? I see wax here. Um, did it escape? This is another toolkit for another diamond painting. I've been doing several uh, videos today because I am going out of town for a week, so I'm trying to pile things up so that I don't have to worry about it while I'm gone. There it is, okay. Like, no, that toolkit didn't go with it. So basic toolkit, the basic pen, wax, and boat or tray. 
And we do have the diamonds already kitted up, but you can tell by looking in there, we had a bit of a spillage. I saw that there was one diamond stuck in the plastic here. Luckily, it looks like it's only one color that's spilled. They're the dark blue, so I'm not gonna open this right now. I'm going to wait till I have something on here that I can scoop up and pour those lost drills and put them back in their home. But this is around, these are acrylic drills. It is labeled there with a sticker with the code of what the canvas is. But we have some really bright colors there. You can kind of see all the different colors just by this view. So 22 colors. And I think, like I said, this one, I'll double check the prices at the end, but I think this one was just over $7. And it is, I guess I should show you, this is the plasticky um, canvas. And the stick is good, and it is indeed poured glue. Symbols are, looks like, all capital letters there. You can see that. And I'm curious, looks like a G, but no O or Q. Those are sometimes hard to tell apart from each other. So, oh yes, there is an O. But at least the G is blue, the O is red. So, shouldn't be a problem telling them apart there so that is our first fox so again let me know if that's a particular character or something because a flying fox over a rainbow i thought was was kind of odd but cute so that's why i got it okay we'll go into the big diamond painting here so again this is a fox theme here and my kiddos up and around making a little bit of noise so hopefully that won't be a distraction. So this one also says 40 by 40, but it's probably a true 40 by 40 here. So let's start by checking that out. It's actually 39 and a half. So yeah, this is diamond painting area closer to a 40 by 40. Here is the picture, if you can see that without the glare. And this one has 35 colors, and this one has all different symbols, upper, lowercase letters, numbers. So a little bit more of a mixture here. So we have a big old fox, again, that dark background to offset the colors, and a lot of flowers. So it's a little bit wrinkly here. Let's see if we can straighten it out just a little bit, but I don't want to waste too much of your time with that one. This is the scratchy, plasticky uh, background, but this does have a bigger border. I noticed that right off the bat. This one has a border that's a little bit wider, and it does show the quantity of diamonds of each color that you need there. So you got the DMC number as well as the quantity on that one, whereas on this one you only have the DMC number. So there's our fox and we do have a little bit better quality toolkit as well and I believe this is a square just looking at the the canvas because squares are a bit smaller and yes indeed it is I also noticed the tweezers in here which is typical toolkit item that you get for squares so we have the cover of the tweezers these are just basic tweezers but they are very helpful in picking up drills that fell where they don't belong or removing things that are stuck in the wrong place. And some people like the tweezers to place their drills. So we got the pen with the squishy, a little bit bigger tray, and a couple of multi-placers there. A three or four and a maybe eight to ten, but these are the thin plastic, so they are the better multi-placers. So really decent toolkit here. You might want to tray a little bit bigger though if you're doing a lot of multi-placing because you need um, this black background here will have a lot of multi-placing. So I would use a bigger tray for that, but you can do it with, with what you get here. It's plenty here to complete this painting. And let's look at the drills. They are already kitted up in baggies, which again is really nice because for a lot of these budget friendlies, I try to do some of the painting at least so I can show you 
what the quality is and it's easier for me to do that when they are already kitted up in baggies because trying to kit up into containers all these smaller diamond paintings uh would i'd go broke buying containers doing that so i do like the baggies that's a really big bag that's got to be the background which is 939 instead of 310 which is nice because i don't like dealing with 310 as much as I like the the dark blue there's a lot less trash and the drills just seem better quality but here's a fair amount of 310 as well we have lots of blues obviously in this one and lots of browns because hey it's a box you would expect that so there's some blues and pinks in here and some tans there's a really pretty aqua and grays but mostly uh, fall type colors with this one which is good for this time of year let's take a look here i don't think there are any special drills or anything like that in here and there is a sticker that tells you which painting these go with so now that i've made a big old mess <laughs> let's put them all back i do like these larger baggies that kind of roll over um the baggies are or the the big bag is longer this way so it's easier to shove them all in and make them fit without having to be too neat so i can roll it over and seal it without a problem there we go so again 40 by 40 really nice box there really decent size and let me go ahead and do the prices so far right now that's see my tablet is about to die here so hopefully it'll last long enough but that nope let me hit the right link there so the first one the girl on the fox was seven dollars and 94 cents and this one is a little bit pricier this one is fourteen dollars and three cents and then the last thing i'm going to show you is oh, my tablet died it's like three or four dollars because it's a small cross stitch you'll see so very very um, budget friendly for the last thing i'm going to show you so this is about 14 dollars for this one 35 colors square with the slightly upgraded toolkit and that's a pretty box so we'll roll that one up and then I know not everybody is a cross stitch fan but when you have just a few dollars left in your budget a little cross stitch is a way to fill in the last couple of dollars so this was very very affordable here this is a joy sunday brand which is one of the good brands of cross stitch that i do like they come with instructions there on the back of the bag. They do come with this Ziploc bag that's resealable. So you have your project bag already there. So we have the Joy Sunday information here, little fox. This is the Ecology Cotton Floss, which I prefer over the Egyptian stuff. The Egyptian stuff is thinner and twists a lot more. I actually like the Ecology Floss. So this is an 11 count. 18 by 18 centimeters and then we have our pattern here so full stitch we have seven colors and i don't see any back stitch this is kind of a very beginner friendly cross stitch but you don't have to worry about the pattern because it is printed on your canvas so we have the floss card here and then we have the canvas and the colors printed on the canvas do not match the picture or the colors of the floss as you can tell and they do that to make it easier to read the symbols when you're working on them there's a lot of contrast between the different colors there so you can make them out easily but that is a cute little stitch there so 52 stitches wide by 54 stitches high and you don't do the background unless you wanted to if you had your own floss and you wanted to add a background you certainly could and the ink printed on here is washable so you don't want to get your canvas wet while you're working on it 
but then once you're done you wash it in warm water and all this ink will go away so all these grid lines the writing all that will go away and you'll be left with just your pretty little fox in there so this one shouldn't take long at all it looks like um, very simple there no back stitch nothing no fancy stitches just straight cross stitch on this one i know i've had people asking me to show them the process of washing a canvas and i don't have one finished i have a couple that are kind of close i don't have one that's finished but i bet i could do this one <laughs> very quickly and show the process of washing a canvas with this so spring brand or spring brand this is joy sunday hello joy sunday or spring brand they both work the same way they have the needles attached to a little baggie with the floss card they do not come with a toolkit but really needles scissors uh, you can provide your own favorite scissors that's all you need for these so joy sunday needles have that gold edge there i haven't had any trouble with joy sunday needles um, they don't mess up the floss or anything like that but this is your floss card which separates all the colors here and so we have the number there that matches the canvas we have the dmc number here in black across the top so this is 444 605 608 741 3371 if you do diamond painting, those colors should sound familiar. And for the white, they use the 5200. So these are numbers one through seven. And then this shows how many lengths that you will need. These are a meter in length, each of these. I cut them in half to work with them because I find the half length a little bit easier to work with. They don't get twisted and frayed and all that is easy. So this says I'll only need a half of a length for this color, same with that one two for this color so you get the idea there shows you how many strands of each color that you will need and this does show 11 count use three strands so with 11 count in order to get the good coverage 11 count means 11 squares per inch on here it's a little bit bigger squares a little bit easier to see so you want to use three strands for each stitch so each of these has six strands and let me pull an end let me pick a color that you can probably see better how about this bright orange well look at that one in the camera so it has six strands and you just pull them apart i pull them out one at a time so they don't get all twisted i grab it and pull like this rather than trying to untwist them so you want to pull out three strands of the six and use three strands to get the nice full coverage on your canvas so that the white won't show through after you wash it because it's kind of hard to tell with the ink on there whether or not you're going to get good coverage or not you don't know until you wash it and that background ink goes away so we have the key here that tells you what color to use it's a little blurry but uh, can still see it here can still make everything out so this is blurrier than normal for joy sunday usually they're pretty clear i think the clearest brand however is spring but joy sunday is still pretty clear so that red color would be color number one here which is actually yellow <laughs> and then here the light blue for the mouth it's just a tiny little area there is this pink color so that's why each of those you don't need much at all and then we have the yellow color that's pretty easy to see around the edges then the green the black dot that's the 3371 so that's the brown which is why it shows us the outline in the ears and then the blue and this pink color have kind of the most on here especially that pink color which is the white so again we can go back and look at the image and what it's going to turn out to be so cute little simple stitch if you wanted to just try out stamped cross stitch this might be a good choice because it is so small and very very affordable so this is what i have for you from outdoor tide and i do appreciate them sending these goodies to me so that i can show them to you and they always have sales and other discounts going on and i will put my discount code below 
in my comments on this video. So we have the little fox cross stitch. We have the larger square diamond painting fox with the flowers here. And then we have our little girl riding the fox over the rainbow. So let me know in the comments, which one of these should I work on and show you? I try to at least do part of what I get right away. I'm not going to append it to the end of this video because I do have to get ready to go out of town and all that good stuff. But let me know in the comments which one of these you'd like to see me work on. Either the cross stitch or the round diamond painting, smaller one here, or the large square. And of course this one would take longer, but I could do just a section of it to show you and then finish the rest later. Uh, let me know what you want to see and I will be more than happy to show you. I'm probably going to do this one anyway because that way I can do a video on washing these canvases. So if there's a diamond painting you want to see, so assume that one I am going to work on. So which one of these diamond paintings would you like me to see? So thank you for watching. Thank you to Outdoor Tide. Check them out and I'll catch you next time.